What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Today I want to talk about another weapon. I know my last video was about cold front, so now this is about my favorite weapon so far in Beyond Light. There's tons of new weapons that I enjoy in this. Honestly, I know there's not like a massive amount, but a lot of the weapons that were brought in Beyond Light are amazing. And this one is my favorite by far, and it is the Friction Fire. So with Friction Fire, there are some pretty bad rolls i've gotten like maybe 20 over the course of the season so far and i've just been farming it non-stop pretty much because i i knew right when i heard about a kinetic submachine gun like i was like oh my god we only have cold front and escape velocity for primary kinetic smgs and we didn't even have cold front before a little bit ago uh since the dawning just started so i was like holy crap we're getting a friction fire a new smg and i know it's a 600 rounds per minute smg but i was still really hyped because 600s are really good still i know it's not like a 750 like the Icolos, but this 600 is really good like the range on it's amazing and with the roll that i got i got really lucky because i was like kind of giving up i mean i had a killing one in wellspring on already like the perks that i wanted i had but the the stats on them were terrible i had super low reload speed super low handling super low stability it was and and i didn't have a range mass to work on it so it was just like terrible and one day when i was just randomly farming in the lure i got it and i was really excited for that so first i'm going to talk about how we get the weapon and then i'm going to talk about what perks you should look for and you know what you really want for pve and pvp maybe you know i don't know if you guys want to use this in pvp but you know i'll let you guys know what you should get just in case and then next we'll just talk about my overall thoughts of the gun so first things first how you get this weapon is of course the seasonal lure i'm not going to tell you guys i'm not going to go in depth but i'm just going to tell you guys a quick breakdown so basically you get this lure and you do the seasonal mission on the moon and you get this lure from the crow and Every week you can get up to, now they changed it, so you can get like five powerful gears from it. But basically, you just farm these and these content, these package content. See, I already have a friction fire down here. So you just put in Xylox or whatever for friction fire. And then the mutations, you can put, you can come over here and put like whatever you want, whatever perks that you don't want and whatever ones you do. You do the same thing here. And that is how you get the weapon. Next are the perks and the roles that I would look for in PvP and PvE, mostly PvE, but I'm gonna tell you guys like what kind of role I have on my weapon, and then I'm also gonna tell you guys what to look for. So on my weapon first, let's uh, go to my weapon. So I have my friction fire, I have minor spec on mine. I have it masterworked, because this is too good not to masterwork. I have corkscrew rifling, which I think is really good still. I know it may not be top tier, but you do, it's really, really good. So I have corkscrew rifling, which is amazing for PVE. You get the, you know, five range, five stability, five handling. You also get drop mag, which increases the reload speed. So it drops on the reload waste and ammunition, but greatly increases the reload speed. So it is just amazing in terms of that. I really want this because of that reload speed, even without a SMG reload speed mod, it's just, it goes so quick. Plus, I have Killing Wind and Wellspring on it, and then I have a Range Masterwork, which is amazing. So these stats are really good, because usually the stats are like this when you get the weapon, but even worse, like the handling. I've had worse handling and even worse reload speed, and it's just not good. Like, you're just, you're stuck with like a slow weapon. It just seems, it just feels bad in terms of handling and everything, but with Killing Wind plus the extra reload speed, this weapon feels phenomenal. So I really love the role I have, but... Let's get into the best perks and I have corkscrew rifling, which is really good, but you can also look for extended barrel, which is nice. You do lose a little bit of handling with that, but you get more range and recoil. So extended barrel is awesome. You can also go with either small bore, which gives range stability. Honestly, a lot of these are good. Hammer forge, which, is, which gives range, but it's only plus 10. So it's not like massive compared to like extended barrel or corkscrew rifling. You can also do fluid barrel, which gives you extra handling. If you really want that handling on this, it gives you 15 and five stability. So those two or those few are really good, but the probably the next best one for the second slot is of course my favorite is drop mag just because of reload speed, but you also waste ammunition, but I honestly don't run out of ammo that much. So drop mag I really enjoy. 
And you can also do a pen and mag, which gives you plus 20 in the magazine. That's probably the next best other than extended mag, but it kind of decreases the reload speed. And then we have the good old, if you want tactical mag, which gives you plus 10 reload speed and plus 10 in the magazine, as well as plus five stability. I still think best ones are a pen and mag and drop mag, just because it gives you like just magazine bonuses without any, uh, you know, diminishes other than drop mag, which wastes your ammo when you reload. So for the next column, I would definitely go with either threat detector or killing win. For me, killing win is the way to go. A lot of people will say this is really good for PvP, but I think killing win is amazing in PvE as well. It lasts so long. It lasts, I think, about like five or six seconds if you don't get a kill. I think it's five seconds. But all it is is final blows, grants mobility, weapon range, and handling. So you get a one meter to the range increase. You get the mobility plus the handling. So you get to aim down sights even faster and it just feels so much better with the low handling on this weapon killing wind is like a must have in my opinion so if you want threat detector go with threat detector but killing wind it's it's amazing flat out amazing next there's quite a few good ones for this we also got rampage we got four pool weapon we got wellspring but honestly i think wellspring is the way to go like i love having all my abilities up and with this weapon i always do Vorpal weapon you're not going to be using this against too many bosses or anything like that it's pretty weak plus rampage you can go for you know the good old rampage 30 percent uh damage increase but so you have a special weapon you know i think wellspring is amazing so all in all wellspring is so good i personally love the one i have course rifling plus drop mag plus killing one plus wellspring it's a phenomenal role. That's where I'll go for. And you will think you'll have to thank me later because this weapon, it's just, it's so good. It reminds me of another Iclos, but in my primary slot, Iclos, I would still say is slightly better just because overall Iclos is just a phenomenal weapon. It has, you know, with that handling, that reload speed, that stability, it's just amazing. But I still think friction fire is one of the best, if not the best SMG especially if you can get a god roll for it so my overall thoughts this weapon is i've been using this like non-stop since i got it i got it maybe a couple weeks ago and i have not taken off really like i know i want to use uh the rage rock on heritage but i just can't stop using this you know i want to use friction fire and then i'll just use first and last out because friction fire is the way to go like the range on it is crazy and i know i could if i need the arc i'll just switch to Iclos, but Oh, this this is a no no brainer you gotta go get it definitely recommend this weapon for sure i think out of all the seasonal weapons this plus stephanie whisper flat out perfect go get the weapon hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace